Hi guys, um, it's Grace. It is a miserable Monday evening here in Dublin and I've just finished doing my video for the pin-up look as you can see here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's uh, helpful for you. I used all drugstore cosmetics except for the eyeliner which is MAC um, and I'll go through them as I'm doing the look. Thanks so much for watching. Please rate the video um, thumbs up or thumbs down depending on what you think. Um, I'm welcome to criticism so throw them my way and um, you know uh, please subscribe if you're a YouTube user um, and comment as well. Thanks so much guys. Okay, so I'm going to begin by applying um, Rimmel's Lasting Finish uh, Foundation in 100 Ivory all over my face uh, using my fingers. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand there. That's about enough. And I'm just going to dot it on the areas that need coverage the most, as you can see. You don't want to go more than about two shades darker than... Uh, your actual skin tone for this look. It's one of the transfer resistant ones and I'd say it's more of a light to a medium coverage foundation. And it's around six euro so it's you know really really good value. Okay so now we're going to conceal and under the eyes I'm using um, Rimmel's Match Perfection in 40 Soft Beige. It's a concealer and a highlighter in one and it's got a little bit of a pen nib as you see there so you just squeeze it and then apply it under the eye I'm just going to use my finger to blend it in and for concealing any blemishes and around the nose area I'm going to use uh, number or number 17 Booth 17 Hideaway Concealer Stick in Fair and it's there, fair, I don't know if you can read it. I'm going to actually use a brush for this. So I'm just going to sweep the brush over the top of the concealer. This is more of a kind of a heavy duty, creamy concealer, whereas the other one was more of a liquid. And I'm going to just around the nose, and I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers. Okay, so we're just gonna set this with powder. And I'm using Rimmel again, uh, Renew and Renew and Lift Brightening Powder with Minerals in 103 True Ivory. I'm just going to use the sponge that's actually in the compact for this. And I'm going to start at the top of my face. And I'm just going to press the powder on. Because you want a really nice matte finish for this. You can see it really mattifies the skin. and under the eyes also and the chin I'm going to use a, do a little bit of contouring with a bronzing powder um, just because I have got a round face and I want that kind of nice cheekbone look for this I'm using uh, 17 instant glow bronzing powder in light okay so I'm using a large uh, powder brush Laura Mercier for this and I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth into my skin I'm going to start by sucking in my cheeks there I'm running the bronzing powder just along the bottom of the cheekbone and next we are going to use our blusher and this one I'm using is by the natural collection which you find in boots and it is Blushed cheeks in pink cloud, and it looks like that. So, I'm going to use a Laura Mercier blusher brush for this. And this is going to go right on the apples of the cheeks. So, you're going to do a big smile. Okay, so our face is done. Um, and I'm going to do the eyes next. So for this, I'll be using um, an Isadora eyeshadow quad in 51 Cappuccino. I'm going to be using, let's see, I'm going to be using 
this one here, this one here, and this one here. I'm not going to be using the one in the top. You want kind of a matte finish with these eyeshadows. Uh, I spent ages looking for the right kind of color combination, and this was about as good as I could find. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that concealer in the stick, the 17 one, and I'm going to put that on my lids as a primer with my finger. Okay, so we're primed and ready to go. Um, I'm just going to do my left eye first and I'm going to come back to you then and do the right eye on camera uh, just to save a bit of time, okay? Okay, so here's the eye look. Um, I used some false lashes. Okay, so I'm going to be using the middle colour. So, that one there. So, um, I'm just going to go over the eyelid up to about the middle with that uh, middle colour. So we're going to do our highlight colour next. So we're going to use the lightest shade. And I'm going to use a little precision brush for this. So it's a Coastal Sense um, mini precision brush, I think is what it's called. I'll put it into the description for you. So we're going to go under the eyebrow. And we're also going to take this white colour and we're going to run over the eyelid as well. Okay, so we're going to go in with our darker socket colour now. And take that dark shade there. Okay. And so we're not going to take it the whole way in. We're just going to stop about two thirds of the way in. We just want to get a nice bit of um, shape going there. A soft curved shape. For some reason they're looking different. If you have a little bit of fallout, don't worry. Just get your brush and sweep it away. Okay, so I'm going to do my brow now. I'm going to use a pencil. The pencil I'm using is a Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil in Black Brown. I'm going to start in the middle. work outwards let's move on um going to go for my white eyeliner underneath the eye first so with that I'm using um gosh coal eyeliner in white so we're going to run into the waterline for this. Okay, so you need to pull down the waterline just a tiny bit and run that eyeliner along. And I'm gonna take the dark socket color and just run it under the lash line a little bit um, to stop that white eyeliner looking too harsh, okay? Okay, so it's time for our eyeliner now. I'm using MAC Fluid Line for this in Black Track, okay? And I'm going to start in the outer corner. I'm going to flip it so that the shorter side of the brush is facing outwards. And I'm just going to try and match it up with the other side. Um, I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to add mascara and then put on some falsies, okay? 
and I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Um, I'm going to use the false lashes now. So these are uh, Eyler Girls Allowed lashes, and the, the girl I'm the the set I'm using is by Kimberly. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place some glue on the eyelash. So we're running it along the top strip there, and you want to put more uh, on the outer edges because that's where they tend to come away more. Okay. So, to place these on the eye, I'm just going to slightly close my eye. I'm going to get them as close to the lash line as possible. Um, and that's the eyes done, guys. Um, I'm going to do the lips now. We're going to have a red lip uh, to go with the look, so stay tuned. Okay, so with the lips, so uh, to do this, um, you want to make sure your lips are dry. So don't have any lip balm or lip gloss or anything on them um, before you stick on the, the colour because it's really going to be um, a strong lip look with the red lips, okay? Then what I'm actually going to use is um, a tiny bit of white pencil that we used along the lash line. I'm going to place a little bit of that. along the cupid's bow because that actually is going to help our lips to stand out and to give them better shape okay okay so I'm gonna blend that white pencil in so it doesn't look so harsh with my concealer brush I used earlier before I actually go in with my red liner I'm going to line uh, with a nude pencil this is gosh uh, lip liner in nougat crisp or nougat crisp okay and it's hard to describe so I'm just hopefully when you look you'll be able to see So I'm going to use a red liner and the one I'm going to use is Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner Definer in Red Diva. Okay, we're going to fill the lip in as well. So I'm going to go over this with a red lip colour. And it's really in a cute packaging actually. It's um, a Rimmel, Rimmel Colour Show Off Lipstick. And this one is in 230 Red Fever. I have a gloss here which I might put on over it as well just to show you that's it guys um i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was really helpful um i really really enjoyed doing this look and i would wear this a lot uh, I hope you have a great day. The weather is miserable at the moment, um, but you know, stay in, watch a movie, have a cup of tea, and chill out, or try my look. Thanks, guys.